Hey friends, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. It has been forever since I've done a vlog. I did a couple and I loved doing them, but it's funny how busy life gets and then I realize I haven't done them in forever, so here I am. Um, messy room, I'm gonna make my bed. Anybody else a bed maker? If I make my bed, something about the whole day changes. But it, even though I know that fact, even though I know when I make my bed, my day is better. I still don't always make my bed. I don't get it. Anybody else a bed maker? You can comment below. I am legit, you guys. I washed my hair for an unboxing video I did with you guys two weeks ago. And then it was time to wash my hair. And I was like, well, I'm about to go to the river with the kids. I won't wash it. So then we went to the river with the kids and I didn't wash it. And then we got back from the river and I had a deadline. So I hurried and just kind of styled it. I think it's been two weeks or more since I washed my hair. And that includes camping in a tent in the river, which today is Wednesday that I'm filming this. We went camping over the weekend. So anyways, here it is. It's gotta be washed. So I'm gonna go wash my hair. I do curly go method. You can watch this video up here if you wanna check out how I wash it. Um, that is like, I need to film another one of those. They're just really, really cumbersome to film, but they are really informative. So I need to, I need to whip one together. So I'm gonna go wash hair and I'll be right back. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll take you in the shower with me. So when I'm like extra gross, like, like I am right now, I do a double shampoo. I have to do a double shampoo because my scalp and everything is ridiculous. I just use whatever is like cheap, but within the curly girl realm of approved products to scrub out my scalp. So I'll use this right here and this guy, which is the greatest. And I literally just sit there and scrub an emotion like this all over my scalp for a long time. Now I'm not trying to like gross you guys out or anything, but let's see if I can show you. Let's see, maybe y'all can see this. There is literally, cause y'all know me, if you follow my channel at all, I work in the yard. I'm playing with pets and chickens and cats and kids and tubing the river. So my scalp gets dirty. So cheap shampoo, scrubber, scrub, scrub, scrub. Then once my hair is like ready to go is when I dive in and use my expensive stuff. Uh, I've got the pros line. That's what I'm using today. I'm not going to do a really intricate focusing on my curls, finger curling and clumping. I'm not doing that today. I'm washing my hair. I'm going to use a really healthy hairline, jump out and go kind of going for more of a string fluffy beach curl because we're headed to the beach this weekend. So I might as well go ahead and prep my curl pattern for what I'm going to keep through the weekend. So this is my grand lineup. I do, oh, and I do this. So I use this on my scalp. <clears throat> then I would put in my shampoo, whatever shampoo. Then I brush it out with a wide tooth comb. Then I follow it with the Denman. Then I rinse. Then I'll put in my conditioner and I will brush it with just a Denman. Then I will put in, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'll scrunch out some of the water. because I want it to be pretty stinking wet, but not like dripping everywhere with um, a microfiber towel. Then I'll put in my leave-in conditioner of whatever sort you want to use. And then I dim it again. And then I will root clip and then I will diffuse dry. It's really fast, really easy. And hopefully will set me up for some really great beach curls. Oh my gosh, you guys, right after I finished that clip, I came in here and pulled the shower curtain back. And can you guys see that giant spider? Um, I will be calling Moxie like right, like right now because I don't do that. Babe, should have filmed Jonathan killing that spider. He stepped on it like three times and it wouldn't die. He like screamed and jumped out of the shower. Now I'm like super creeped out, super, super creeped out. But ugh, gotta wash my hair. That spider was still alive after I stomped on it. <laughs> that is not right. That is not normal. And it was huge. Okay, hair is washed. Try to go for that really loose, thin beach curl so I could just keep fluffing it. I got my root clips in. Um, I wear these root clips everywhere on, on day one. Like it's just not worth it to me to take them out and have the whole rest of my hair messed up. So however long they need to be in, they need to be in. Like, I don't like purposely try to go like ATB. But like, if it's time to pick the kids up from vacation Bible school and those are in, they get root clips. So y'all have been seeing my raw skin this entire time. Um, rosacea treatment is going good. I'm at that point in the treatment where uh, there's 
not, I don't have all the acne that I've had. The redness is better, but if I want this additional redness to go away, I've been told I have to do like laser therapy or take like this pill that bleaches out your skin. You can't go in the sun. Well, it's summer, I'm not doing that. So I'm just sticking with this Elta MD Broad Spectrum SPF 46, but it's tinted. And I just put it on every single day. And it's my sunscreen. It's also my base. I don't put on, unless I'm like filming or going to an event, uh, base or liquid or any form. This is my liquid. I love this stuff. I'll link it below. And um, I love that it has a sunscreen in it. I love that it's built for acne and rosacea and hyperpigment skin, which is me, me, and me. So I have my flutter lash. I draw on my brows, which I went and got you guys. I went and got my brows laminated. My eyebrows are super curly and the poor girl kept trying and trying and trying. And when I left, they were pretty much straight, but an hour later, they were kind of curved. Two hours later, they had turned into hooks. And then I don't know what happened from there. The weeks following, they turned into coils. Now I've never had coils, they've had curl, but they were like coils and they started hurting. Anyways, I don't think brow laminate is a match for me and my curly brows. So we're just back to drawing them on. If I found somebody really, really good, I would consider getting microblading, but once again, I have curly eyebrows. So it would have to be somebody really good who could work with that. And it's my face so that makes me nervous. But anyways, so, okay. Things for today that I wanted to share with you guys. Let's run to the living room. So we're leaving town in a few days. And when we get back into town, it will be almost 4th of July. And so I wanted to go ahead and swap my yellow themed decor over to 4th of July stuff. I don't know about you guys, but when I go on vacation, I want to come back into a perfectly clean house. Like I don't, oh, it's such an angst to come in and there's like stuff everywhere. But I want to go above and beyond this time. I want to even have the house decorated for 4th of July. We'll revamp this. I'm going to bust out my decorated Americana box, some of my other decorating things. We're going to go ahead, probably take down all of our Fiesta decor because Fiesta is going to be over by the time we get back into town. The girls are going to be sad. It's been so fun having that stuff up. And look at my giant pinata, you guys. When I bought him, I was like, my husband is gonna kill me. And now he's like become a family friend. He's huge. We need to name him though. What should we name him? Y'all get a good look at him. He's a giant pinata. So y'all can decorate with me if y'all wanna hang out and see what I'm gonna do for 4th of July decor. And then hopefully when my husband gets back from picking the kids up, he's gonna photograph everything for the July subscription box haul. Uh, there were 17 boxes in that. It took me two and a half hours to film it. We're editing it now, which will take about four hours to edit. And then we photograph everything. Then we write the blog post with all the details. It also goes in the YouTube text. And then we edit all the photos and upload the photos. It's so much work, but you guys, it is so cool to introduce so many subscription boxes. And with this particular haul, I think we decided that nearly 90% of them are brand new to the channel, which is crazy. So I did just decide that I wanna put on some of this Makeup Forever face corrector. If you struggle with redness in your cheeks, this stuff is really great. It's a redness correcting primer, but what's so funny is the color green corrects red. So I just put it on like this just on the spots that are like so, so red. And voila, it kind of tones things down a bit. See the difference? Nothing like dramatic, it's not cakey, it's really light and it makes um, just a difference, I don't know. Some days I put it on, some days I don't. So after this, I'll literally just put powder right on top because I'm lazy and I don't like to wear a bunch of makeup which is why I like the flutter lash. They're always on, they stay on for a week. I don't have to do anything for an entire week. And even if one of them come off, it is so stinking fast to pop it back on. It's faster than mascara. So big, big fan of, I'm saying flutter lashes, flutter habit, flutter habit lashes. There is another one. What is the other one that is, um, I don't have it written down here. I might give it a try also, comment below. What is that other company that is like Flutter Habit? I feel like I should do like a comparison on the two. Um, that would be fun to see what's the difference. And then uh, school, school, y'all, school's out and kids are home. 
we have, so we have chores. The kids have to do their chores, which is the same. Chores are same in school and out of school. Chores are things like keeping, keeping their bathroom clean, keeping their bedroom clean. Those are chores that you do. Those are your spaces. I don't go in your space. I don't make a mess in there. You clean up after yourself. So we actually do call those chores. Then we have family contributions. And family contributions are um, things you do that contribute to the family as a whole, which would be helping with laundry, raking the yard, taking care of all the pets we have, emptying the dishwasher. So those are family contributions. Chores you have to do no matter what. That is, you make the mess, you clean it up. But family contributions rotate based on what's going on. Like we got a storm the other day and so many sticks are everywhere that automatically became the kids' contribution. After they picked up the sticks, John and I, my husband, we mowed and we weed eated and we bagged and we raked and we did the rest. Teamwork. With family contributions, they're mandatory. You do have to do those things. But you can do them with a good and happy heart. And if you do it with a good and happy heart, you get to choose something from the prize bin. So there is a reward for that. Um, then we have like above and beyond. Like if you finish your chores, which if you just maintain cleaning your room, your chores are automatically done. They haven't gotten that concept, but hello. And you've done your family contribution. There isn't a family contribution every day, but there are two or three a week. You can opt in for additional activities or additional chores or whatever, and you can earn cash money. Those are the three options we have. Well, I keep our family organized with a marker board in our entry. Well, the mudroom. <laughs> and I love it, except for the system I have now is freaking not working and it's causing so much frustration for me. So I have in here, this marker board I bought from Pottery Barn forever ago. And it has the calendar, the pen board, and the marker board which has the chores and the family contributions. This is great, except for this changes, this never does. They have to check them off each day. And once they check them off, I erase the check marks. Well, it's erasing the text. Like look how sloppy it's getting. We're having like so many issues with them coming in and maybe erasing a chore or checking something. <laughs> Anyways, I ended up going ahead and ordering a One Thrive system. And um, then I can still pin things. They're gonna have their own sections. And so, oh, I just got a haul of clothes from this boutique called Ooh La La. My cousin owns it. I want to show you those clothes. We'll have to do that. Cause like, look how cute these shorts are. And then also look, look at that top right there. Okay, so anyways, we'll come back to these clothes. All right, Cause I really do wanna show you these. But look how big the board is. It's a huge, huge board. I want to get that One Thrive system installed so that we have more organization that stays organized. But for now, let's pull out the stuff to decorate for 4th of July. Let's decorate. I love to decorate for holidays like 4th of July or Memorial Day weekend about two weeks in advance. And then I have it the week of, and then I take it down. I flip my decor in my living room all the time so like every three weeks which is i guess not every three weeks because this has been up for quite a while anyways so i figured you guys could hang out and decorate with me most everything i have here is from deco created uh home decor subscription box home goods and hobby lobby and i like to start by taking everything down and then i put my anchor piece which i'm going to do a different anchor piece than i did in the deco created unboxing um you can check that out up here I'm gonna swap it up a bit, because heaven forbid, I put the same piece up again. We'll definitely be reusing this guy. I'm pretty sure I got these at Home Goods, and there's several different sizes and shapes, and I love them. When I take this decor down, what I do is the Tupperware that holds all of my red, white, and blue decor, I actually just put all of this in there. And then I put it back in the attic. And then whenever I take red, white, and blue down and I'm ready for this to go back up, I just swap it. So it's like a temporary holding space. If you were looking for tips and tricks on what to do with your normal decor stuff in between holidays. So when I'm cleaning in between sets, like I just push everything to the ground, push it all to the ground, decorate, and the very last thing I do is sweep and mop. I like 
could pull out all my toys. Kind of get everything out in front of me that I want to work with. Can you tell I love red, white, and blue? <laughs> I love decorating with red, white, and blue. I don't want it up for long. I only want it up for a little bit. But while it's up, I want it to scream patriotic. And so I think I'm accomplishing that. I like to set things up and then you'll see me like lean back and then I set it up and lean back. I tinker quite a bit with that initial set, but I feel like then once I see it, it's there and I'm good. And I usually don't tinker too much with it, usually. Anytime you're working, with beads like those, it's pretty easy to hang them absolutely anywhere. Since the beads shift, you can always push them to expose the rope in the center. And then once you do that, it's easy to kink and use the weight of the beads to hold it in place. And that is one of the things I love the most about beads is because you can customize it, right? You can shape, shift, into all sorts of designs using just one set of beads. Another <laughs> really cheap trick is to buy pillows and leave the old pillowcases on. So if you notice, this is deco created, I don't know, two years ago pillowcase. Um, I will stack them a few times so finally they do reach a point where they can't hold anymore. Um, you also can go to resale stores or clearance sections and buy pillows that are not just the insert, buy just any old pillow and then take that super cheap pillow and put it in your cover. I like to have like six or seven of these square pillows laying around. And if I bought them all brand new from a store, that would cost a fortune. So I do uh, just pick up pillows off clearance sections regardless to what they look like because I'm just gonna cover them up. And because, I mean, I live in Texas, I love Texas. We have a little bit of a Texas theme going in and I saw this pillow at the store and grabbed it because I thought it was the perfect little addition to breaking some of the red, white, and blue, but keeping that true to Texas theme. We are 4th of July ready. We have everything up on the mantle. And then I took a little section of stuff over here that I wasn't able to show you on my big camera because it's not mobile. And put the picture from the Memorial Day set up over here with a couple of items. And I'm thinking probably just the week of 4th of July, we'll actually put all the flags and things out front. Like when I say we decorate, we put about 50 flags about that size and the mini ones all through the front yard. But I try not to do that until like it's really the holiday because I don't want my neighbors to be too annoyed by my overly decorating for every single thing I could think of. Also happy to report my root clips are still in and my hair is drying really good today. Typically, um, we don't have humidity here in San Antonio, but recently we have had humidity here in San Antonio for good and for bad. So my fiddly fig plant that was living indoors that died like within the first month of me getting it, I put it outside and it is like snapping back to life with all this humidity. So I don't know, but I'm thankful we got some rock and curls happening. Okay, you guys, we have been testing out this all natural lawn fertilizer. And the reason we're trying to go that route is because we have kids and we have babies, uh, cats, big chickens. And now look at these guys. We have these little bitty chickens. And the reason I wanted to test out this all natural stuff is you see what they're doing right now. They are literally always eating, always pecking at something. So I needed a fertilizer that would do great for my yard. I love, love working in my yard that they could be hanging out. And you guys, I think I found it. I'm going to um, finish up filming with John who's waiting on me over there. 
and we'll be releasing our full review with before and after photos and everything very, very soon. If you are looking for a lawn care subscription that has an excellent price point and it actually works. Let me go get my models. They're wandering off. Okay, snack time, starving. I want to do another of like the decorate with me uh, with wreaths. I have these cute little wreaths I wanna make. I wanna put them on the doors to my office. The ones I have now are literally Christmas wreaths that I leave up year round and um, that doesn't make any sense. So hopefully I can get my act together when we get back from vacation and I can show you how to make these really quick wreaths. Everything I ordered on Amazon, it's all super cheap and um, I'm gonna make two of them. Hopefully that's plan. And I also really, really, really wanna do I like a little mini fashion haul. I mean, if you guys have been around here, you know I don't do like beauty. My only fashion I do is in my subscription box. But I am really loving these clothes that my cousin sent from her boutique. And so I thought it'd be fun if we just did a try on. And if you guys like them, you can check out her boutique. Either way, she brought over some pieces that are outside of my norm. So I'm excited to try those. Thanks for hanging with me today, you guys. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing 4th of July weekend that's around the corner. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all.